What's up guys, my name is Daniel Eprok for North Carolina FC and today I'm going to be reading Under the Sea for Read and Feed. Let's get started. So, living underwater. Many amazing creatures live under the sea. Some seas are warm and some are cold. They can be deep, but some are shallow. These bright fish live in shallow seas. Oh, we got dolphins. Dolphins live in warm and cold seas. They have smooth bodies which help them to swim very fast. Dolphins breathe through a hole on the top of their head. It is called a blowhole. A dolphin swims to the surface. It breathes out air. Water sprays up. It breathes in and dives underwater. If a dolphin is sick, other dolphins take care of it. A mother dolphin with two... Oh, this is just a description. A mother dolphin with two babies. Uh, a mother dolphin shows her baby how to breathe. She teaches it how to look for food. Sharks. Sharks have many rows of sharp teeth. They usually eat fish, squid, or seals. This is a great white shark. It is the most dangerous kind of shark. How many rows of teeth can you see? Ah, that's a good question. How many rows of teeth can you see in the picture? This is a, is a whale shark. A whale shark is the largest fish in the sea. The fastest kind of shark is the mako or mako shark. I'm not sure about the pronunciation. This hammerhead shark has an eye at each end of its wide head. Look at that. Some whale sharks are longer than a bus. Whew. Jellyfish. Jellyfish have no bones and no brains. <laughs> Wow, they look like blobs floating in the sea. Some have tentacles that can sting. This jellyfish has curly arms that hang down. It also has long, thin tentacles. A fish swim into the, swims into the tentacles. The tentacles sting the fish many times. The arms push the fish into its mouth. That's how a jellyfish feeds. Um, these are called upside down jellyfish. They don't, they don't have long tentacles. This ones. Some jellyfish have tentacles, tentacles as long as a soccer field. What? Okay. Flatfish. Some fish are flat. Some of them can change the shade of their skin to hide from other fish. A plice lies on a muddy seabed. It looks like the mud. This one. It swims over sand. Its skin changes to look like the sand. Oh, so it's camouflage technique. Most flatfish have both eyes on top of their body, like this peacock flounder. Rays have flat bodies. They swim by moving their huge fins up and down like wings. Torpedo rays give fish an electric shock, then they eat them. Octopuses. Some sea creatures, such as eels, like to eat octopuses. When an octopus is scared, it hides in a cloud of ink. This is an eel, this is an octopus. The eel is waiting to attack the octopus. The octopus sprays a, a cloud of ink at the eel. The octopus moves away very fast. An octopus has eight strong arms. It has lots of suckers on its arms. An octopus uses its suckers to grab food to eat. Interesting. Ooh, sea turtles. Sea turtles live in warm seas. They lay their eggs on the land. They have a soft body which is protected by a hard shell. This green sea turtle uses its flippers to swim through the water. Sea turtles weigh about the, sa weigh about, weigh about the same as adult human beings. So like us. A sea turtle finds the beach where she, where she was born to lay her own eggs. She lays her eggs in a hole. She covers the egg with sand. She goes back to the sea. Baby turtles hatch out of the eggs. They find their way to the sea. The sea turtle is hatching from its egg. How cute. Dragons and horses. Whew, this is Game of Thrones content. Dragons and horses live under the sea. They are sea horses and sea dragons. This is a leafy sea dragon. Parts of its body are long and green. Sea dragons can hide easily because it looks like seaweed. That's true. Sea horses are a kind of fish. They swim upright and they suck tiny animals through their mouths. If a seahorse wants to stay in one place, it curves its tail around a sea plant. Like that. 
fast fish. Some fish can move very fast through the sea. They can even leap into the air. These are flying fish. They can glide over the water for 45 seconds. A flying fish uses its tail to swim faster. It wiggles its tail, it leaps into the air, it opens its fins and glides along. This is a, a, sail, a sailfish. It has a spike above its mouth. It is called the bill. It uses its bill to attack fish to eat. Sailfish are the fastest fish in the sea. They can jump high out, out of the water and sailfish have a huge fin on their back. It looks like the sail of a boat here. Interesting. Watch out. Fish use clever tricks to scare other fish. Lionfish have long, poisonous spines. They flick them forward to scare other fish. Like that. A shark has spotted a porcupine fish. The porcupine fish swells up like a balloon. It is too hard to eat. The shark swims away. Some fish swim in group. Uh, some fish swim in a group called a school. Other fish may think the school is one big fish. Huh. Penguins. Penguins dive into the sea to catch their food. They eat fish, squid, and tiny sea animals. These are rock hopper penguins. They dive from rocks or ice. Penguins are birds, but they cannot fly. It's an important fact. There are 17 kinds of penguins. They leap out of the sea. They take a gulp of air and dive again. Penguins swim very fast to catch their food. Diving whales. Whales are the biggest animals in the sea. Sperm whales dive deep down to find food. They swim to the surface to breathe. This is a sperm whale. It can hold its breath for over an hour when it dives. As a, as a whale dives, it throws its tail up. This helps the whale dive deeper. Um, sperm whales eat squid. Some giant squid are as long as a whale. Humpback whales swim near the surface of the water. They make noises that sound like songs. Nobody knows why. Near the bottom. It is very dark and cold near the bottom of the sea. String fish live there. Lots of them have big mouths and sharp teeth. Viper fish have very long teeth. Wow. Angler fish have a light above their mouth. They eat fish that swim near. Hatchet fish have big eyes on top of their head. Like that. And gulper eels have a huge mouth. There isn't much to eat, deep in, to eat deep in the sea. Fish wait for dead sea animals to sink from above. Divers. Divers wear special clothes so they can swim under the water. This, this tank contains air. It helps the diver breathe under the water. And here are the fins. Uh, divers wear fins to help them swim. Under the water, divers use their hands to tell other divers things. So this sign means, okay, this means stop, and this means I'm going up. Some divers explore the wrecks of ships. They may see all things, such as pots. Some divers look at the plants and fish which live in the sea. And there are many shipwrecks under the sea which have never been found. Okay, so now that we've read the book, let's look at the three discussion questions. Uh, the first one is, what was the story about? Uh, well, as the title suggests, this uh, is a story of what's going on under the sea. So the book takes us uh, into the animal world uh, of those animals that live in the sea. So we, le we looked at dolphins, sharks, fast fish, uh, biggest fish. So that was pretty interesting. I learned a lot of things that I didn't know about. Um, what are some of the important facts you read about? Well. Um, I, I learned that the, the sailfish, I think, is the fastest one and, uh, and the whale, the, there was one kind of whale that was the biggest fish in the, in the ocean and, uh, oh, it's important that penguins cannot fly. Don't forget that. What did you learn? Okay, what did I learn? A lot of things. Um, on top of my head, I remember that um, there are some uh, fish that can be very dangerous because they stink, they have uh, uh, venom. And uh, what else? We learned that um, whales can uh, 
dive pretty deep th thanks to their uh, what's it called their fin. Um, we learned about divers. They have signs for when they uh, explore the oceans. You know, we learned how this means going up. This means okay, and they find a lot of things uh, at the bottom uh, at the bottom of the sea. Uh, but I'm curious to learn from you, to hear from you guys of what you've learned, and uh, it was a pleasure reading this book to you guys, and uh, all the best.